Hi, Nana. How are you? Okay. Everything over here is good. Life is going well. My parents are being a big pain, but that's okay. <laughs> a big pain? Yep. Mm. Big pain. Yeah, and you get the car. Yeah, I get the and car. They get the money. I get and you free. You go to the bank. Free, free rent. Free food. Free rent. Hey, the money's mine that Dad's talking about. But they're a pain, eh, these parents? Yeah, these parents are a pain. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible, isn't it? And they're going away for two weeks. I'm very excited. Yeah. You're going to have a big party? No, I'm not going to have a big party. Just have a small party. Just watch it, Amanda, because there's all kinds of turkeys around. Crash parties. Yeah, well, they won't crash this one. Is the big boy coming over? No, I don't think so. What happened to him? I don't know. He might not be going out anymore. Oh, my God almighty. What a turkey. I think I'm sick of him. Sick of him? Yeah. That's good. Glad you're not married to him, aren't you? Oh, I am. You're married to him? Yeah. Didn't you know? Oh. Yeah. And Monique's going to come down for the 24th weekend, and I'm really excited about that. And nothing else is new. Life's pretty boring over here. I might get a supervisor job. With the Y? Yeah, with the Y. Well, that'll be great, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I can pay ten bucks instead of nine. Mm. That whole buck more. <gasps> My God, can I borrow the buck? No. No. But I might have more hours, so that would be good. Oh, that'll be good, eh? I might have like uh, I think thirty-five hours a week. Great. Instead of twenty-two and a half. Super. So I'm making a lot more money. Uh -huh. How long is these batteries going to last? I don't know, but I think you better shut it off quick. Okay, fine. Well, thanks bye. very much. Bye, bye. Okay, hi Brian. We're at Lena and Dave's. We've just come back from dinner. So we're going to do a little bit of a stint of all the babies and Lena and Dave so they can tell their big news. Well, here we are now. We're at uh, Lena and Dave's. Mark is sitting in front of the TV watching the Arsenal play. And the TV is just oh a flick. <laughs> okay. Here's Lena, and Lena will tell you exactly what's happening next year. Mark, you tell it too. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're hoping very much to come and see you all. So get ready. We're coming for the wedding in August. What would the the wedding do in choir, August. Lena? Uh, definitely lunches and dinners out every day. Lunches and dinners out every day. Loads of fun. L lots and lots of fun. Yeah. Okay. So get ready, people. Yeah. We've got Jenny, David you and are. Paul, and they're going to tell us their version of their trip. Paul really wants to come and he wants to meet all the cousins, right, Paul? Sure do. You bet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, look I'm looking forward to it anyway. Good great, great. Yeah. So now, Paul, do you want the cousins to entertain you every other day or every day, all day long? Every day, all day long. Wonderful. Non stop. <laughs> I love sports. And how about yeah. you, David? I was originally planning to go to Orlando. Oh, oh. good. But with well, a visit of Brian and Kathleen. Uh -huh. And pressure from Mark and Paul, they have decided that we're going to Canada. And the United States. And the United States for the wedding of Maureen. Maureen. Wonderful. Looking forward to it very much. You said act normal, you're not acting normal at all. <laughs> hey, Dan. We are looking forward <laughs> to coming. Sure, we are looking forward to coming, man. Yeah. Well, like normal. He's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mark. Yeah. Awesome yeah. one today. Do you want to come or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How's it going to go next year in school? We've got all chances now. Yeah. Good. But you're looking forward to going to Canada to see all your cousins. But I can't get yeah. work permit for me. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, we've got to get a permit. You have to get visa. a visa from hey. the United States. Oh, one. Oh, we'll manage that one. Don't worry, Pat. I'll be there. <laughs> and Joe. Yeah, and Joe. Tell, tell, no, um, tell, tell the guys, Brian, that tomorrow we're going to get Lena and Dave's beautiful house on the outside, Lena's gardening, and, and we're going to show the whole thing on video. Ooh. Right wow. Now. <laughs> Can you get a Isn't that exciting? <laughs> <laughs> Love Nanny Wouldn't to that come. Be if yeah. Nana could come. Nanny Chef, yeah. If Nanny Chef could come, yeah. well, we'll oh. see. If she can, she we'll can. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Enough, Blair. 
gate I put up five years ago, still sitting. Good man yourself. Yeah, Kathleen doing it here in the Nina's kitchen. Here we go. Woo! I have worked very, very hard on this garden. I'll take a look at the garden now. And I want to see this Carry on talking. thing when I go over to Canada. <laughs> on the video. <laughs> on the video. <laughs> Lena's garden. And there's Lena again. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to talk to me? Yeah. Oh, you tell him, tell him how nice he is, Lena. He didn't how lovely do much you work. Yeah, he, he didn't did do much work, work this time. No, he didn't. Um, no, he did lots of work. He didn't even earn his breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> there comes Lena out of her house. Here we are. There he is. Wave to the camera, Lena. Take your flowers, okay. <laughs> and this is the whole street. Here we are. <laughs> and there's her little house. There's Kathy and Lily standing in the doorway yes, of Lily's on. house. Hi. Can I Let me back up. Sorry. Lily's house there. All the way over. Right, it's not on. The red light is not. Of course it's on. It's not on. I think John doing the dishes. There's John. Big John. John himself. Say hello nicely, John. Hello, folks. How are you all back home? Pretty you can't be with us. <laughs> We're having an excellent time. Grand. Is that red light on, John? Yep. Look into Lily's house. There's Kathleen standing there. Lily and John, did you say something about our house, John? Our house. We're okay. fighting for our house. Okay. We're waiting for Sissy to come up on There's Lily on the phone. We're waiting for... Up the stairs. We're waiting for... Up the stairs. John, can you use me to disclose what we're going to do with the back here? There's John. John will go in before me. There he is. Hey, well. Onto the Clare Mountains. Okay, right. Clare, 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 Clare
Fresh emotion away. <laughs> oh, lovely. Are we going now? Bye. Right, get... Okay, you're on? Bye. <laughs> All right. Close up to the two girls sitting on the couch. <laughs> what to the bedroom? They're drunk as skunks. Look at them. <laughs> We're walking up the stairs now. Here we go. Up the stairs <laughs> to Lily's <laughs> rooms. Well, there's Lily's bathroom. Oh. This is Lily's room. This is Lily's room here. Oh, and we're into John's room. <laughs> and there we are, we have John's room. With lovely drapes and everything else. All right. This is a view from Lily's backyard. The old cow in the backyard. Stand up. Oh, God. Actually, what size is that? Stand up. I'm going to 
Declan taking the mickey. And uh, Sissy, give us a wave. Sissy. And here is Brian and I have arrived in Coos. Now we're up in Noel's tractor and we're up the mountain. And what I'm trying to do here is do a real slow scan of the big city of Coos with the Shannon in and the background. So there's Noel's house right there. Okay, and I'm scanning from left to right, and then I'm going along, and there's our house. Right there with the sheds and you got zero whatever, there. and then we've got to his house. And then we're going on down, and we've got Madden's and the one with the, the grey roof. Is, uh, and then Petra we're Star. down to Petro Stars. I suppose that must be Petro Star. The one with the grey roof. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are. We're scanning all the way down, all across Coos. Just from Slivakti Mountains, just above Coos. Now I'm gone past Coos. There's come the Tipperary Mountains in the, in the background. Widen it up and come and see me. Okay, how do I widen it up? From the top end. No, no. Okay, I'm going to do one more fast scan of Coos here. There's, there we are. But did you Brian's zero in? Did you zero in with this? Orders here. No, I didn't. Okay. Is that zeroed in right now? Okay. Hang on again, and we just had to do. Now here we have, okay. Now there we have Garvey's of Coos right there with two E's on the right. That's about as close as I'm going to get it, right there. Switch it off. And then we've got Knowles, okay. Maggie's down behind Knowles there. Here's our place again. We'll cut two E's out. There it is, right there. Right now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Mommy's up having her snooze, and we're up on the tractor tooting around. Switch it off. Just hang on. How's that for scenery? I hope I'm keeping it steady. Tipperary in the background. Isn't that beautiful countryside? I want to show them the convertible, Kathleen. Okay. <laughs> Where is the idiot? He's right here. He hasn't moved. Oh, uh, here he is. Okay, well, let's see now. Let's try and get you a distance away, Ryan. There you are, in relation to... <laughs> there he is. There's Coos in the background, okay? Isn't that fantastic? Okay, this is our <laughs> convertible. That's right. Here's Kathy, here's Kathy in the convertible. Sitting up at the Slebakti Mountains at 2 o'clock on Monday. And it's a beautiful day, no sun yet, but it's going to get sunny. Yeah. Up here, and up here beyond, the smells beyond Kathleen, I just, nice we just shift so over and we see the... We don't have right above the top of the engine, we're going up, and there's the horses sitting no up more, on the Ryan, field. No more, no more, the horses, come on. And there she is, the big woman in the tractor. <laughs> Same to you with bells on. <laughs> All the way down to Portumna. How far is it? 
That, that, I think that's what we're seeing over there is protamin at least protamin. Okay, I'm going to take it off here and go for a scan now. As far as you can see in the distance is probably Killaloo. Tipperary Mountains. The Tipperary Mountains right in the distance. And then we come along the Shannon, Loch Derg, Coose. Mount Shannon. Coos. No, you won't see Mount Shannon. My Shannon is behind the mountains. And there we are, there's the city of Coos. The large metropolis of Coos coming up. All the way along to Port Hamlet. All the way along. We can't waste the petrol. I'm going all the way out to Potomac. As far as the eye can see, there you are. Well, this is the cat. Okay, Brian. Where from your Cadillac? This is my Cadillac. Here we are now, <laughs> up on the mill. Just bought this convertible, cost me $58,000. This is our mode of transportation. Right up from the Slivakti Mountains. It's the only way to travel. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only gadget that'll go through these roads, this <laughs> rough terrain. <laughs> Having a good time there, Brian Giles? Oh, this is heaven. <laughs> if you ever go across the sea to Ireland. Okay, and this is... Coos. This is, the is new, where we're at. This is the new road up from the Slivakti Mountains, and this is, as Brian said a minute ago, this is what we're looking down at. And it's gorgeous. Just lovely. The estate in the background. Right. This is down in Williamstown. <laughs> asses. A couple of old asses. It's Kathleen walking down by us. It's going over here. Oh. It's beeping. Okay, so we're going to leave the other battery for the hole. Switch it off. We've got to go down to Desmond. Bishop! Bishop! This is Shep. And this is Coos. Coos and Coos. Trying to keep it steady. There's Noel's house in the distance. This is the back of Noel and Bernie's house. It's all Steve Octi Mountains. I'm trying to be keeping very steady here. There's Noel's van. Oh, I thought I saw a chef there. What are you doing, Mummy? Ah, uh, this is the view from the front of Noel and Bernie's house. Right around. This is this from the front. There's... Oh, what are you doing? I'm going the road. You're going out on the road? Are you going in the car? you going in the car with Nanny and Brian? Let me see you. Let me see you. You go in the car with Brian? I do care. And where's Shep? Huh? Where's Shep? Bunny Bunny. Where's he gone? Where's Shep? Call Shep. Call He's Shep. He's gone where? He's gone where? He's 
Uh, no car. Oh, in the car. Uh, no car. No car. Oh, okay. Michael, Michael. Outside the back door here now, Mommy tells me that they heard the tractor going and they thought that they were cutting the grass, so they're up looking for the fresh grass. Stop now. Michael is two years old. Michael! Up, up, Michael! Mikey. Michael! Let me see you on your bike. This is his new Get bike. Up, Come on, Michael. Hop on your bike. Declan. Yeah, yeah. How old are you? Uh, nine and we ten and the first of And wh wh what are you doing now? Sitting down here waiting for him to get in the tractor. I'm going to say this to Uncle Joe. What are you going to say? What? What are you going to say to Uncle Joe? Hello, Uncle who? Uncle Joe and Uncle Pat. Hello, goodbye. How about Teresa and Eta? This is Nanny's bird box, and this is Miss Kathy Sins sitting on Brian's creation here. You are in school. Smart. You are smart? No. You're very smart? Okay. Very? Yeah. What are you going to be when you grow up? Teacher. <laughs> there you go. What are you going to teach? Um, national school. <laughs> just, just national school? Yeah. Wonderful. Connor, get here. Are you going to be a soccer That's player? You're spastic with that. I'm not spastic. Shut up. Where's Stephen? Stephen? Stephen, come over here. I'm going to be showing this to Chris. Get up. You see the way I got? I never got with such a knock. Get up here. I got with the cow. I was going to pick up into the wall. Ca uh, Stephen? Stephen? Stephen. Hello, hello. These are the two soccer players here. Where's the other fella? There he is. We have Miss Sausage herself. Come on, give me a smile. Give me a smile. Make her smile, Deirdre. Deirdre, make her smile. Deirdre. Deirdre, make her smile. Come on. Where are you, Deirdre? How are you, girl? I'm okay. I'm not going to do it. Deirdre. 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 Deirdre, put your head out. Okay, I have to turn it off now, Deirdre. I have to turn it off. It's gone. Deirdre, come on. Let's see your face. There's Deirdre. There she is. Wait, please. When I'm dressed, you can. Thursday evening, and we're down here, Francis, in Kilrico. This is Brian, out the front, with baby Emer. baby? Yes. So cute. This is Francis' place. Walk down the south of the house. the side is the... Uh, this is over the side of Francis' house, and these are the big bales, and there's the cattle on the side over there. There's this soccer goalie area. Deirdre! We're trying to make one to send home to Uncle Joe and Uncle Pat, okay? So there we are. This is the family. Look at this. Nice. Teardra! Yeah? Spider's out to Kathleen. 
There's Miss Emer. This is lovely. Scared, and there's the sheep. What a great countryside this is. Okay, and I'm going too fast. One for the company, see? And Miss well, I'm Emer. I'm sorry, but you see what has arrived in Ireland since last time you were home? Don't even say you're sorry for a beautiful little thing like that. <laughs> huh? Does anybody want to have her? I don't think so. Because we're starting I'm already now, second generation. She won't sleep at night. No, we're starting all with the <laughs> second Mommy generation. Mommy, you're Get lost, you. Uh, I shared this this Mommy, you just don't want to go away but don't touch your stair. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. corner, yeah. that yeah. corner. Yeah. Right there, like and he yeah. just smashed right into that. And uh, what happened was that uh, I had the cows way over me. There was no reason for him to do that. Oh, you know. Fences! Hello there, this is to send over here to we're see what a handsome guy you are and how well you're aging here. I don't think Francis has ten grey hairs. <laughs> and he's, he's working, his <laughs> only shift here is, um, <laughs> what is your hours, Francis? Nine to three? Nine to three, yeah. Nine to three yeah. during the day, yes. Yeah. So he's finished at three and then Look he comes home. Look. Emer, oh, we've got up. Emer, we've got Emer. Emer? Emer? No, look at... Oh, there's our no, pudding. Oh, we no, already no, have pudding. No, you're drunk. No, Francis, no. Francis, would you say that your hours are what night and nine four three, the latest, nine right? Four, yeah, nine to four. Eight to four. And then he and, and Marion have time for the cocktail yeah, before dinner. Yeah. Okay, we're on our way down now to uh, Desmond and Rosie's, and so we're now about to be escorted up to the Stone Circle, which dates back 2,000 years. There's Desmond and Brian. Okay, now Desmond, now tell us about this. Stone circle from the Bronze Age. They're common round Ireland and all over Europe. The feature of them are those two little standing stones there. And at a certain day in the year, the sun would shine in through those two stones onto the back of the stone here, a flat stone. See this flat stone? And that's how they'd know the exact day for to have their ceremony. Because no other day, only one day in the year, which would probably be the shortest day. But it's a form of a little calendar for them as well. Yeah. They knew. Now we did a little drama here and we had we pretended we had seven druids. We had the druid of peace and love and all the different things. And they might have ceremonies here, Thanksgiving ceremonies for the harvest and things like that. So we put one little boy and a girl at each at each uh, stone. Yeah. And they all came and they all said their little prayer, you know. And it worked out grand. And they could have had wedding ceremonies and rituals here as well. Or they might have, you know, with the leader of the uh, the gang would die. At that time they used to cremate them and put their ashes into a little bowl. So it could be here they did it. So yeah. anyway, it's as it was that time, there's nothing ever done with it. Probably it should be excavated and little roads made into it and I always think there should be a little sign up so some people come that they know a little bit about it. Well have a story, a whole story about it too. Yeah. Oh, we steal our dogs, you know? But you're not gonna get this one. This is a very special dog. <laughs> Turn around and wave. Yeah. Wave. This is a candy, otherwise known as Chef. <laughs> chef, come on, Brian. <laughs> I'll tell you the big thing. And these are all the stables here, you see. Where Desmond keeps his horses. Number two. Ha uh ha. -huh. Look at this. There we are, the race horses. Yep. Yes.
there we are. Oh, We're at the farm. Here? Desmond's racing the horses and Kathy. Oh, by the way, uh, Gary, Rosie, get in here. He's in the shed, Brian. Because it goes around there. And we're going around there and around there. This is us down at, and we are going for a walk up the mountains and get a load of this. This is Gandhi, or otherwise known as Shep. Hops into the boot of the car, come for a walk. Hello. What is over there? Where's the Shep? Gandhi versus Shep. Lots of movement now. Let's have lots of movement. Get in there, oh, Rosie. And here we are, right on top of the mountain. And this day, Here's, sir. <laughs> here is now. Now listen here. This is Coos at its best. Fine lumps of steak. What is it, uh, Daddy used to say? She can't beat the mate. Did the you mate. used to get mate up at uh, at Tess and, and Chas? Christ There's no old there now in his big estate. Yeah. And his wine. I'm telling you, Josie be rocking in his grave. <laughs> so we're all down here at. Um, there's Shep down visiting us again. At um, Nolan Bernie's. The Sunday dinner. And the barbecue. John, I think they're just putting on the dog for this Lily's John. And there's the view up the Schleerachty Mountains there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm ready anytime you are, my darling. All right, I'm ready. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you know who I am. <laughs> 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 that was a stupid way to start, wasn't it? Anyway. Today I'm going in for a, a bit of an operation and I feel very good about it actually. Um, it's uh, to take the pressure of a tumor which is in my brain unfortunately which has only been there for three months. But it's caused a little bit of a problem. Uh, fortunately it was close to a motor, my left side motor which um, made me sort of a little limp on one side, my left side, for, uh, and that's how we initially found it. Otherwise, it could have gone on and, uh, and been a little more destructive. This way, we can get the operation done, and then, by God, we're going to tackle it. All right. Do you want to tell us a little bit when you were a little boy? Well, I've written, I'm writing my story, uh, I'm writing my story about my, my life, and I'm, um, I'm up to when I was a Boy Scout, and I'm probably around about 12, 13 years old. That's the time I'm at now. But that's just a, that's just a little smattering of my life, and, and what I want to talk about is a whole load of things is when I was in the Navy and when I joined the Sea School, why I joined the Sea School and uh, the places I saw and visited and the things I did and then when I came to Canada and the young lady I met which wasn't our mother which was whom? no, no I met lots of ladies but I only met one lady that I really loved and it happened and to tell be tell us about her dad it happened to be your mother. Oh, I thought it was someone new. Oh, no. Someone more I exciting. fell in love with your mother the first time I saw her. Did you? Yep. Uh, a buddy of mine that I shared an apartment with brought his, this girlfriend and, and mummy, Kathleen, up to the house, up to the apartment, and introduced me to them. And, uh, and uh, Teresa was the other girl's name. And, and I called this one Kathy, even though her name was Kathleen, she told me. But I've called her Kathy all of her life. And I'll keep on doing it. <laughs> anyway, she, uh, I wanted to marry this girl. And she says to me, well, the only way you're going to marry me is if you become a Catholic. 
So I said, no problem. So I became a Catholic, and we got married in uh, St. Vincent de Paul Church on Roncesville. And Rosie O'Reilly and Maureen Garvey was my bridesmaid, my little uh, flower girls. And my best man was a guy that I'd known quite a few years back in England. His name was Robin. And, uh, Who was Mom's best um Teresa was the, was the bridesmaid. Was the maid, maid of, of honor. honor. Maid of honor. And uh, well, this is all available for you in, in our in our wedding book, which we still have, and we're very proud to show you anytime you want to see it. <laughs> and we've had uh, we've had great great times. And um, we had three uh, most gorgeous children on earth one of whom is taking this video. The youngest. Uh, the youngest. And uh, <clears throat> there's Christopher, and there's Donna, and there's Amanda. But that doesn't stop there. I have a mirage of people. I mean, I have people from all over. We have... Uh, I have all my nieces and nephews on both sides of the family. Uh, I couldn't have married into a better family, the Garvey family. And uh, there's one thing I'm going to do after this operation, I can tell you. I was just talking to Johnny. Johnny, by the way, I don't know if anybody knows, but Johnny O'Reilly is my godfather. It's okay, take your time. And he's... He's always been fantastic to me. And in these hard times right now, he's been helping me out like crazy, which is really good. So anyway, I was saying to Kathleen this morning, we get this operation over. Um, Teresa and Johnny and, and Kathy and I are going to go to Newfoundland to have a little visit in Newfoundland because that is the closest thing to Ireland, guys, that you'll ever find in your life. It's one of the most beautiful little spots in the world. It's a little cold, it's a little damp, and it's a little rugged, but by God, there's lots of spirit, the same as there is in Ireland. And, uh, and then, hopefully, we'll have the big reunion uh, here in July when Lily and uh, John come over and everybody will be here. I know everybody will be here. You won't let me down, will you? Um, Chicago guys, I mean, uh, my brother will be up from Atlanta. I mean, everybody's gotta come, everybody. Um, and then the, the plans we have after that is that we, uh, we, we hope to go to, uh, to England and Ireland in September because I have to see one of the most beautiful ladies. Oh. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Okay. That brought you kids up. You Garvey kids. And boy, did she do a job and a half. Wow. Josie, he's up in heaven. He's pulling for me for this operation. And my mom and dad are up there too. Mary McKenna, she had a hard, hard life, and she's also up there. And I'm... I, I can't, I'm not saying I'm at peace with myself because that's a def, that, that would sort of sound defeatist, I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm very confident with what's, what's going to go, what's going to happen today. Um, I probably have the best neurosurgeon on earth looking after me. Uh, he went through a terrible trauma and has to live with it every day, God bless him. And, uh, but I tell you, he, uh, He'll, uh, he'll do the best he can for me. I know he will. And then after that, it's up to me 
and it's up to, uh, it's just up, you know, all, all, I'm getting all the love and attention that anybody, I mean, that anybody could ever have. It's just absolutely wonderful. I, I couldn't be, well, I am, I am probably both the most luckiest person in this earth uh, to be able to be able to do exactly what I'm doing now. I mean, God, this this is just how many people get to talk uh, before they have a big operation. I don't know, but to me, this is this is absolutely wonderful. Amanda suggested it, and uh, and it's 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 just great to, to be able to uh, to talk to you all, and and you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of fun re seeing this. Cause you're going to see me, this big, strong guy, crying like a baby. <laughs> but anyway, he is strong, and the strength comes from you guys. From, uh, from your love, your feelings. It's, it, I, can't, I can't describe what it's like. It's, it's like. it's like being enveloped um, in a cloud which is so warm and so lovely and uh, it's I, I don't know it, it's just it's, it's it's just so wonderful my heart feels so so full with love for everybody because I know it's coming from you Is there anybody you want to thank for the Emmy that you're receiving? <laughs> well, let me see now. Uh, let's get a bit on the light side now. All the guys in Ireland, I mean, you know, all the guys in... I mean, listen, I haven't met... I, listen, I probably... I've forgotten everybody, absolutely, but I, no, I haven't forgotten you. I just haven't mentioned your name, but you know who you are. I don't have to tell you. I love you all. I think you're the greatest people on earth. I've been very, very blessed meeting people. And I've always been sort of an open person. In fact, uh, I, the letter I've written to Kathleen today, she is a, I, I, I describe myself in one word and uh, well, don't say it too. Don't say it now if she's not going to read it. Well, she, I've told her already. So the oh. one word is uh, God. I can't remember what it is now. Slow. How about that? <laughs> Slow. Ding ding. Anyway, what it stands for is S stands for strength. L stands for love. O stands for open and when I mean that I mean this is that I am like a book I f I feel like I'm a book a cheap book you're not when you, cheap at all when you open it you see the beginning the middle and the end all at once and the last one the last one it took me 62 years to get and that is the W. And that stands for wisdom. And I only wish I had the wisdom that you've helped me gather right now a long time ago. But anyway, it's never too late. Right? And you never say die. Okay, Dad, I'm going to ask you to do something silly. Okay, I want you to do what you do for me and Margot when we were little kids. Oh, no, I can't, Amanda. You got to. No. You got to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's God. terrible. That's great. That totally says Brian Giles. It does? Yeah. Is it? Silly, right? Oh, yeah. S should stand for silly then, right? No. Right. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I know your prayers are with me today and everybody I can, you know, 
as I say, I can feel it. It's just amazing, absolutely amazing. I wish, I wish I was eloquent enough to put it into words exactly how I feel this very minute right now. We're all going to go in a little while and have uh, our picture taken with the big man. That would be Connor. Connor. That's right. And uh, these guys are lucky because, and you guys are lucky because, well, maybe you are lucky, maybe you're not lucky, I don't know. But you've met me and I've met you and I think I'm lucky because I've met you. Maybe you're not lucky because you've met me, I don't know. But this little guy, I've only just met him because he's only a baby. He's only 18, 20 months old or whatever. And boy, oh boy, I got lots of plans for him. And I hope and pray that I can make, have some of those dreams come true because there's nothing like a granddaddy to teach a grandson different little things. What about Rod Iron? Well, it was a little too early for that. Eh? Yeah. But all the different little things I can, you know, little, oh, I, I don't know, but you'll, you'll find out, you'll, you'll know, everybody knows what I'm talking about if you're a grandparent, what you want to do and how you want to do it. But I tell you something, guys, if any of you are working too hard right now, not taking life and living it to the fullest. Please live to the fullest every day of your life. That's been my motto. Every day of my life I've lived. I'm never going to be a rich man because I don't believe in saving it. I believe in spending it. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of my wife, but however, she's looked after, she'll be all right. But guys, girls, kids, whatever, wake up and smell the roses. Because you only come this way once, and when you come this way, you meet some gorgeous people, and you gotta hang on to them. Okay? Yeah, you wanna stop? I think it's enough, Mandy. Huh? God bless you. I love you all.